Hey guys, it's Mama Amanda and welcome back to my channel. Today is a crafty moment and what we're going to be doing is taking in this corset. So as you can see, I've already done the major construction. Basically for these pieces, I found the most gorgeous cutout lace detail taffeta. And I found this all at the LA Fabric District like three years ago. I've been planning this costume for a very long time and things happen. So I used the Truly Victorian corset pattern that I did a tutorial on and you can watch the entire series. It's all on this channel so you can go back and watch it all if you're interested. So I won't really talk about how I constructed this corset. I even went as far as to add the grommets. The problem is it's too big. When I took the measurements, I hadn't lost as much baby weight as I have now, and Labyrinth is a couple months away now, so I'm probably gonna lose even more weight between now and then. And right now I can close this thing all the way, which doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal, but I could probably tighten it even more and still be comfortable, but there's there's nowhere to tighten it. So question is, what do I do about that? Well, that's what this episode's all about. So here's the corset laid out, and as you can see, there are three panels of this gold fabric on each side. So I think what my solution is going to be for this is just to take this middle panel and cut it right down the center, and then fold in the edges, and then add grommets right there. That way the corset will have side detail lacing. That seems to be the best solution in this case. Not only will it add a really pretty decorative detail, but it will also be functional. So that way, not only do I have places to adjust the size in the back, but also on either side. You might be asking, why don't I just go in and undo the seams and take it in from there and just create new boning channels. Well, that's actually a lot more difficult to do because basically the way that it's sewn makes it very difficult for me to go back and redo the side seams. So it is really just easier for me to cut and add more grommets for lacing. Without further ado, let's get my scissors out. Now I've also got my handy dandy ruler and my fabric marker and basically I'm just going to add little tick marks where the very center of the fabric is and I'm just going to follow that line connecting the dots and just cut it accurately down the center. Okay, that is one side cut. So basically what I'll do is I will fold in a quarter of an inch on both sides and I'll sew it down on the edge here. One sixteenth of an inch from the edge. But before I do that, I have to cut the other side. So as you can see, I've pinned under the raw edges of the areas that I cut. Here's a closer look. It's about one quarter of an inch that I folded under on both the fashion fabric and the duck cloth lining and pinned it down in place. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to sew 1 16th of an inch from this edge and that will basically finish what I need to do as far as construction goes for the corset. After that's done, I can start grommeting. Okay, so now that I have sewn and finished the edges, I'm going to measure out where my grommets are gonna go. I'm gonna do that first in this center piece because once I have them both even on these sides, I'm going to transfer the markings onto these sides and that will give me the most equal and even application of the grommets. I'm gonna start with my first marking half an inch from the top. 
I'm not using a fabric marker for this because it tends to disappear after a little while, which is, I mean, the purpose of a fabric marker, but because this is a more time consuming process, I need something that will stay longer. Plus, you won't see the marking once you've poked a hole into the fabric to put the grommets in. Hi, Milo. Now from each marking that I place, I'm going to measure one inch from that. Also, I'm keeping each marking about half an inch from the edge. That way I can make sure the grommets are all on the same vertical axis. I love using this kind of ruler for these tasks because it's transparent and I can see exactly where my last marking was. These little snips, they're perfect for creating little holes to make grommets with or pretty much any other detail work. And basically here I'm using a chopstick to widen the hole I just made. Next I'm going to take a washer and place it in my grommet machine. There's a piece that is magnetic that will hold it on the top. And then I will take a grommet and place it into the hole that I just created. And putting that onto the die on the grommet machine and pressing firmly down on the handle will give me a perfectly placed grommet. So here are all the grommets done on this side. So basically what I'm gonna do now is fold this piece in half and pin it together so that the edges are all matching up. Now I'm taking my Sharpie and transferring the markings going straight into the middle of the grommet. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these pins and basically repeat my previous steps on this side and the other two. All right guys, that is it for this installment of Crafting with Mom Amanda. I've finished grommeting all of the sides. I've strung up a ribbon. This is probably not the ribbon I'm gonna end up using, although it is actually a pretty good match for this gold right here. I would try it on, except for because there's no boning, there wouldn't be any structure. Basically, it would just wrinkle like that. So I would need to add bones to the corset first in order to try it on properly. But before I add bones, I have to finish the upper edge. Now, I don't want to go and buy pre-made bias tape because it wouldn't match it very well at all. So what I'm gonna do in the next episode of Crafting with Mama Amanda is make my very own bias tape using this material. There was a bit that was just this material right here without any of the embroidery. So I'm going to go and create bias tape using that material and adding it to the top of this corset. Hi, Milo. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this mommy moment. I hope you've enjoyed crafting with me. And remember, no matter what you've got going on in your life, to always take a moment for yourself. So until next time, bye.